Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to have a look at making something called the, oops, not the one there, the dimensional transceiver, if I can spell it correctly. This thing here. So this is similar to a Tesseract, but it's just a bit cheaper. So we're gonna need, uh, we do need Enderman heads and uh, a Solvar with an Enderman in it as well. Uh, the reason for this is the Tesseract, well the reason I'm going to use this rather, is this Tesseract frame is significantly more nasty in the hard mode pack. So I think it's going to be much easier to try and build the Ender IO version instead. But to do that, we're going to need to have a supply of Ender, Endermen. So I'm going to give something a go grab some slabs I want to ideally fill the syringe with some in demand stuff so that we can use the spawn that we built uh, a couple of episodes ago uh, to try and um, spawn some in demand in here instead as you can see I've upgraded it a little bit since last time I've sealed it all off a bit nicer um, a bit more nicely put some nice glass doors on the front of it works pretty well works pretty well so what I was thinking of doing is if I can trap the Enderman somewhere in a spot like this. Now I want to stop him from teleporting away. This is the problem. So he's there. If I aim his feet. Okay, so this is good. get 100% essence level 100% cool and let's ha all right so that worked way better than I expected way way better than I expected so now what we want to do what we want to do is see what we need to spawn an enderman pretty easy stuff some endstone again 0.1 of an enderpearl so one enderpearl will give us 10 enderman that's a pretty good way of controlling uh, how many we spawn uh, yeah pretty cool alright so the other thing that we're going to want to do this is some way of getting their heads nicely now there is a thing called where is it the ender so the ender increased skull and ender pearl drops awesome and you can empower it with a vibrant crystal fantastic cool so we just need uh, some stick and some dark steel dark steel being uh, obsidian, coal dust and iron. I don't know if I've got any of that stuff. So I'm going to run away and make myself an ender. I'm also going to probably empower it with a crystal, which I can do in my soul binder. I do happen to have, uh, no, not that chest. I do happen to have a soul vial with an ender man on ready so we can make our first vibrant crystal. Uh, so I'm going to go away. I'll make myself the sword, get some more soul vials and we'll see what we can do about converting our spawner over to spawning some endermen, uh, which will let us in turn make some dimensional transceivers, which again is like everything in Minecraft, this is something we need to do something else I want to do in a, in a future episode. In fact, probably the episode just after this one, because uh, we're going to need some wireless power for the thing I want to do. So see you back here in just a moment. Okie dokie, we have ourselves a bunch of vibrant crystals. Uh, I've got a soul vial with an enderman in it already, a couple of empty soul vials, and the ender. So let's just grab some experience out of the tank. I do want to put that on there. Just empower the sword, which will let us charge it up. Ta-da, cool. So plus two damage when powered. Cool, that's awesome. So I can put a basic capacitor uh, to give them power two on it. Actually, that'd be really, really easy to do because I have a basic capacitor. Get some more levels. Can't remember how many it was, but sure. Let's put that in the basic. Cool, 60% damage absorbed by power. Seems reasonable. Oh, and it took all the power out of it again. Okay, so quick power up again, 150,000 RF. Wow, empowered three. Travel, ender crystal plus 30 levels. Hmm. All right, that'll do for now. So what do we need? We're gonna need ourselves an ender pearl to help spawn the stuff. We're gonna need a bunch of seeds again. 
always need seeds for spawning or organic matter essentially so let's grab the seeds and what else was it i think it was was it soul sand again something let's have a look it was uh end stone end stone end stone end stone now this is pretty easy we've actually been to the end now and we have a a book set up to go there so i have yeah, a stack of instant will do. Cool. So let's shut the doors. We'll throw our one into Pearl in. We'll throw 20 of those in. And then we'll throw, I always throw seeds in the close one. So that's cool. So let's go seeds, that, that. Now, oh, we get two of them. Okay, so let's grab our ender and stop him from warping, which is good. No heads though. Hmm. No heads. Oh, and another one spawned. Wow. Got a head yet? No. No head yet. Wow, nasty noise, nasty noise. Okay, so that's yeah, that's working reasonably well. Let's throw another 20 end stone in there. That's getting us more endermen than I thought we would be getting, to be honest. Hmm. Alright, the last one's still gone. Still no heads. No, no heads. All right, I'm gonna go away and keep spawning these things until I get one with heads, uh, and then hopefully uh, we'll have some heads, and I'll also catch a few more in soul vials so that we can uh, make the crystals we need to make. So I'll be back once I've killed a few more of these suckers, and hopefully we'll have some heads and some more soul vials full of endermen, and then we'll be able to get on with making these transceivers. See you in a bit. Okie dokie, we are back and I have managed to get myself three Enderman heads uh, as well as a bunch of soul vials of Enderman. Now, in order to do that, I found that this thing, I mean, I tried using the cleaver as well, which is supposed to give a 20% chance to be head. Didn't get a single head from that and I killed maybe a dozen or so. Um, I doesn't know, so Enderman. This here as well, the Ender, I also killed, I mean, I got sick of going back and getting Endstone from the end. So in the end, I actually went to the end and just used this there and killed a bunch of endermen that were wandering around the end, um, luckily avoiding the dragon. Um, but I got three endermen heads out of that, which is pretty cool. So now we can do this thing where we give one of those there and a soul vial. Oh, I need some experience. Oops. Let's get 20 levels. Uh, use player XP, yep, cool. Uh, so we're going to need two of these. So we're going to need two ender crystals, um, a couple of octatic capacitors, and of course this enderman head stuff. So I'm going to run away. This is pretty easy now that we have... There's the slice and dice, so we need two of those. Oh, I can only put one in at once. All right, so I'm going to run away and make all the bits and pieces we need for the dimensional transceiver, uh, and then we'll get two of them set up and see if they can do what we need them to do. Hey, there's the ender crystal. Cool. All right, so I'll see you back in just a moment once we've got all these bits. Okie dokie, we have ourselves two dimensional transceivers. We're going to need one for each end. Uh, one of them I'm going to put down on my main power switchboard. So this is sort of where I gather all my power together. So we'll put it here. Ooh, look at that. What happens if I right click it? Send receiver. Oh, look at that. Send filter. That must be power. Uh, there's no... Okay, so chest. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. That looks like it might be power. So let's say stew. And we'll put it into the send slot. Cool. Now let's go down and... I think I'm going to choose this one because it's easy to break. This is just a test. I'm gonna I'm gonna plug all this back together. 
actually I'll put this in the bottom. I'm going to plug all this back together once we're done. So this has minus 200. Cool. So it is chewing up power slowly as we go. Now, if we go to local buffer, ah, so it needs to be powered as well. That's interesting. So hopefully if we do this and receive, send receive buffer and oh, we're full. Fantastic. Cool. So that works really, really well. We can now send power wirelessly. Uh, we don't need this. I was trying to keep the endermen still while I hit them with the cleaver. All right, so that's pretty much it for this episode. Again, we've done a bit of work to, I mean, a lot of it's prep work really for what I want to do next time. Um, one of the things which some of you may have guessed is what I'm up to is uh, we're starting to run out of some of these ingots. I haven't been mining for a long time. Look at this iron, 52 iron. That's not really a lot of iron at all. Aluminium. Yeah, not many of that, not much of that left either, mainly because I used it <laughs> down there. You can see the glowing uh, there. Oops, a um, bit of a skeleton there. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to use this next time to try and uh, wirelessly send power out to um, a thing that's going to hopefully get us a lot more minerals. It is a bit of a leap back into the technological space, but we're going to need this sort of stuff and I don't really want to worry about having to go mining all the time so um, that's what we're doing next time but for now this episode is done and dusted we have ourselves dimensional transceivers uh, a handy next step in things we need to do so as always thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time